Hi and welcome to Morrowind Monday. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. Last time we convinced was well, someone who thought he was the Nerevarine that he's not by paying him 200 septims and then telling him they, that he's not. And now we and then we made a pilgrimage to Margan and now we are off to Ghost Gate. Where there is a temple where we are supposed to get more duties to perform. So we are now heading off from Balmora to the temple. Took, we did take a little stop in Balmora. So Caius would see us. And by the way, stay hydrated folks. Have something to drink. In the current heat that we have, the best thing to drink actually is water. <clears throat> so I have this big cup of water standing in front of me. And when I, whenever I drink with a straw, I actually tend to drink more. This is why I'm drinking with a straw. for moon moth. Let's get those hands out. I mean, I know that this is a dead enemy, but there will be lots of cliff racers, as they always are, in the Foyada Mamaka. Let's take a little rest so we have our stamina restored. Even in the game we can't run forever and yes i'm i'm having the game on run mode this would be proper normal walking which also restores our fatigue meter again but with a low fatigue meter we are very very bad at shooting fireballs let me see i have five and three fire bite so it's on target is number two which is active because they only have the fire symbol for this spell primarily does fire damage but they don't have basically different symbols for the different spells again charge your medica could have switched should have switched on the other hand let us real quick check it's empty showing that they're empty um, beforehand is a actually a feature that this game did not have. So. After killing these enemies we are heading off as a Nyx Hound and there's a Scrib. I'm turning a bit too fast. Let me turn down the mouse speed actually. And there we go, shooting the fireball, hoping the hound will stay in place, and he did. I'm seeing the shadows of the cliff racers, and I always expect us to be attacked by one. And there it is, the cliff racer. Annoying creatures. Ah, this is why I have it. This is why I did not set the mouse to a less... Um, responsive or oh, what's the word um, so it doesn't move that fast because it moved too fast uh, it moved too slow in the menus it moves too fast here when it moves at a decent speed in the menus and it does not move fast enough in the menus when it moves slow enough here 
So I just need to get used to not turning too quickly. Let's see if I can... No, of course not. And now he comes over. Of course he does. Really? Two fire attacks going haywire. Oh, well. So, of course, we could... Can we... How do we have already the fourth? No, we don't have the fourth level yet. We did not create a fireball four, which we should. An even more intense fireball, because these are at 100% already. So we can make stronger spells in the destruction area. This is something to remember. Getting a stronger fireball. Which of course costs more mana, so we also need to be sure to basically we need to be sure to have enough mana at hand. And this is not easy because getting mana actually Well basically you need to, to increase your level, you need to increase your stats. So there are en enchantments that you can use, but I did check a wiki because I did want to have that. And the game does not, unmodded, not offer this. Can't rest here, there are enemies nearby, no. I'm just going to wait here. Ignore the scary sounds and wait here until our fatigue meter is restored so we can attack this Kuguti. Let's see if this works. I hope it does. Yes. So there is one enemy out of the way. I guess there is a scamp inside there. This is the enemy that caused us to be unable to rest. And there he is. And I guess if we shoot him, he will... Actually, actually, I thought I thought he will walk, start running away. But I did select the frostbite, didn't I? I think I accidentally pressed the four or the two key instead of the three key. But now I can rest until healed. There we go. Select the fireball again. Well, this one can then. The rat can be dispatched with with a fire bite. Oh, he's not in, in reach for touch spells. Yet. Okay. And off we go. Onward towards. The ghost gate. Where we can also rest. Because they do offer beds. So let us head over. use the fireball for this one and I failed casting the spell of course I did and I don't even have enough magic for using that one so I'm needing I'm needing I'm resorting on the last wish I can rest and dispatch of that kaguti I think the reason why I did not do the stronger fire spell is because we did not need it. Of course, there's no spoils in there. Because that would have been helpful. Well, in the end, just to make more money, but still. 
sorry. So, heading. I notice that I have not been doing this for a long time now. might notice I'm not talking that much and I'm actually getting pretty sleepy. My eyes my eyes are getting tired so I'm actually going to stop recording after, the, after this episode because it doesn't make sense to just play silently. This would not be fun anymore. Okay, I see another rat. Let's switch back to the firebite because the rats are best dispatched with that one. And he's close enough also to just use that one, the weaker one. So we need to check for light armor. Okay, there was something telling me that the stream had problems, but the icon has turned green again, so the stream should be fine again. There's also something that I need to check on. I need to fiddle with the settings again, as it seems. Did not change anything, and yet still, this is a, it's, it's a constant struggle. So let's head into the Tower of Dusk, where we hopefully can get a bed. Hey, you, do you do you have beds? There aren't beds. It's for ten gold. Yes, of course. Thank you very much. Tell your friends about this place. I think the bed was behind that wall, so it's, there should be a door here, yeah. There's a door here with a bed, and we're going to stay until we heal. And now we're going to check the temple. After looking at this nice display, this what is, is this about? the glass armor. Which should be one of the best light armors in the game. Which thusly should be the one we are trying to find. Okay, let's see. The two towers should be connected upstairs. And that's the weird thing. Ah, uh, there it is. Upstairs to the temple. This is the connection between the two towers. I'm listening. And that's I'm Ubu Laren who we are supposed to talk to about duties. But let's see if they train us. No, they don't. Oh. I don't have duties for anyone under the rank of curate. Speak with a Therer Rothcloth and Moloch Mar, Thul's Velen at the Eldrun Temple, or Andrin Lethan at the Hyphen in Vivek. Therer Rothcloth and Moloch Mar. Thank you very much for this information. The thing is that we've been walking so far just to get there and I can't just teleport back. Oh, wooden door. Oh, wouldn't you know? I think we just entered the other side. This is a bit annoying, but let's see if they sell something that we can be interested in. No. But we can sell these things. What is this about? And citizen. Check of the spells, burden of sin, magic guard. And they also have just potions. Okay. Yes, Outlander. Let's just walk through this ash pile here. Back into the Tower of Dusk. We 
should have used mask. We should have used Mark in Balmora, to be honest. Yeah, this is the other place. This is downstairs. I was just unsure if I should go downstairs, but to be honest, I want to head back as fast as possible. Let's try the other road, not back to Balmora. First, if I wait an hour, my fatigue level will be full again, so the chance of me casting a spell will be full again. So this is a this is a, a bit annoying if you're... Oh, the ath athletic skills also increased, which uh, means we can... And the acrobatic, so jumping and running is better now. Well, athletics means um, we can run up steeper hills. So there is one thing that um, people do when play, playing Morrowind. Basically, there's this key. If you hit Q, you can use. Uh, you don't need to use your hands anymore to press the W button. So you, it, the character just runs endlessly, and you just run against the wall, and that's. That's what you do all the time, then. And of course, our chance of casting the spell is lower because we have not heeded our green bar. So, one thing that you do is you run against the wall, and because you're running, it will um, train your athletic skill. to Vivek first. And the high fane in Vivek. So from Aldrun we can take the Silt Strider to Vivek. And then walk over to Molagmar. Hello friend. Don't worry, I will be streaming more than one day this week because, as I said, I have this week a week off. So I might actually be streaming every day. Tomorrow I need to apply for a new ID because my, my ID actually expired... Um, how long ago? I thought I needed to take the... There we go. Um, my, my ID expired at the beginning of this year. And in Germany you're required to own a valid ID. Or a passport, that is. Luckily, my passport is still valid until 2023. But still, it's easier to carry your ID with you than your passport because the ID is just like this card. The passport is this booklet thing. So I'm actually going for a new ID. So I have pictures taken today and I'm going to head to the office to get the ID. ID, ID, ID. Tomorrow. Now this one is stronger. It needs three spells. There we go. Whenever I say there we go, I always think of that one song in um, of the new the, the new um, OST in um, Beat Saber. And as you might notice, the uh, lo lots of arms and lots of thinking about words, which actually have, I've done since. I started the stream I'm not fully awake I'm not fully able to concentrate I need to get back into the habit of streaming and I hope to be able to do this 
when I can actually stream and record for that matter, which to me is the more important part, from downstairs instead of having to resort to the times when my roomie is not there. I must be going so you can make it. You, you must be going for a month now and stand there and you're still telling me to make it quick? Guy. Okay. Let's travel to... Ooh, we could even... Interestingly enough, we can travel to Margan. Well, not to Vivek. And I know that there is a Silt Strider there. But I know, also know that there is a Major Skill there. So I'm just going to use the Major Skill Travel Guide. Oh, shut up. These people always thinking you're talking to them, even you're just, even when you're just walking past them. Okay, and let's see. Travel to Vivek, a guild of mages. Well met. What is it? I just, I'm just passing I... through, kitten. Ah, the ice machine is complaining that the ice is full. That guy asks. So I think after this recording I should actually replenish the ice in my drink. Frank water. Of course the temple is at the far end. He said and then thought that he has... Uh, wait an hour. He actually has a levitation spell. Tiny. Which costs ungodly amounts of magicka. Okay, no, no, no. I'm going to use that one. Because this also trains... Oh, for how long? 30 seconds. This also trains my uh, alteration skill. I also should save. Should have done that before I started floating around, to be honest. Uh, still, this is slower, but I don't have to walk back and forth. And it trains my alteration, so it means I can also use strong levitation spells then. This was a bad idea, to be honest, because these 30 seconds now are not enough to... Let's just float it down. Down to the lowest level. Where we can head to the temple then. This little bit of damage, this little bit of pain is just making us stronger, as the saying goes. St. Delin Quarter. Honestly, this was an odyssey. We were just walking around without any, without anything that we could actually do, and me being too tired or exhausted. I can't actually tell to do proper let's play talking. But this is the high fane. Let's real quick just find the person, and then the freshest ingredients in town. Um, he doesn't have any duties. What is this about? I'm just looking for the person that I'm supposed to ask for duties. Shopping for ancient. They, they should be here in the high fame. Speak your needs. Ah, there it is. Uh, there he is. Okay. 
So I'm going to stop here. I know it's five minutes early, but honestly, it's very, very hard for me to concentrate. So I'm going to save real quick. Pray that the... Let's do the Let's Play 2. Pray that I don't need to re-record this. If I do need to re-record this because the recording has been botched, I will do so without streaming tomorrow. That said, for those of you on YouTube, I hope we will see each other to next week. Tomorrow, no, I, I think I will stream again tomorrow. I hope that we will see each other next week on Morrowind Monday. If we don't, it just means I didn't get to stream anymore Morrowind. Honestly, I'm prioritizing Morrowind over Medieval Dynasty now. So for those of you watching the Morrowind streams, there will be more of that. Oh, you know what? We do have still have a few minutes and we did get a book. Let us just read said book. And that was the, was it? I think it was the death blow. I'm pretty sure that it was the death blow of Arbor Nanet. Yes, block skill increased. Broken battlements and wrecked walls where worship of the horror once embraced. The bites of 50 winters, frost and wind have cracked and pitted the unholy gates and brought down the cruel obscene spire all is dust and nothing more than dust the blood has dried and screams have echoed out framed by hills in the mild in the wildest forlorn place of Morrowind sits the barren bones of Abernanet when thrice blessed Rangadil first saw Abernanet it burnished silver bright with power and permanence, a dreadful place with a dreadful men to guard it. With fever glassed eyes and strength through the horror, Rangadil saw the foe's number was far greater than the few ordinators and buoyant armagers he led. Watching from the hills above the field and castle of death, while it stood it damned the souls of people of Morrowind cursed inquisitor's castle Abernanet. The alarm was sounded, calling the holy warriors to battle, to answer a villainous shield with justice's spear, to steel themselves to fight at the front and be brave. Rangadil too grasped his shield and his thin ebon spear, and the clamor of battle began with a resounding crash to shake the clouds down from the sky. The shield wall was smashed and blood staunched. I'm always pausing when a new verse starts, starts, even though it kind of pauses the sentence. So let's start that one again. The shield wall was smashed and blood staunched, the ground of the field a battle like no other of Morrowind, to destroy the evil of Abernanet. The maniacal horde were skilled at arms for Surtees, but the three holy fists of Mother, Lord, and Wizard pushed the monster's army back in charge after charge. Yo. Rangadil saw from above, urging the army to defend Dagoth Thros himself in his pernicious tower spire, and knew that only when the heart of evil was caught would the land ever be truly saved. He pledged then by the temple and the holy tribun tribunal of Morrowind to take the Tower of Abernanet. In a violent push, the tower base was pierced, but all efforts to fell the spire came to naught, as if all the strength of the horror held that one tower. The stairwell up was steep and so tight that two warriors could not ascend it side by side. So single file, the army clambered up and up to take the tower room and end the rain of one of the cruelest pity tyrants in the annal, annals of Morrowind, Dagoth, Dagoth Thras of Abernanet. They awaited a victory cry from the first to scale the tower, but silence only returned, and then the blood, first only a rivulet, and then a scarlet course poured down the steep stairwell with a cry from above. 
Dig of Thras is besting our army one by one. Rangadil called his army back, every ordinator and buoyant armiger, and he himself ascended the stairs, passing the bloody remains of the best warriors of Morrowind to the tower room of Abernanit. Like a raven of death on his area was Dagothras, holding bloody shield and bloody blade at the tower room door. Every thrust of Rangadil's spear was blocked with ease, every slash of Rangadil's blade was deflected away, every blow of Rangadil's maze was met by the shield, every quick arrow shot could find no purchase. For the monster's greatest power was in his dread blessing that no weapon from no warrior found in all of Morrowind could pass the shield of Abernanit. As hour passed hour, Rangadil came to understand how his greatest warriors met their end with Dagothras, for he could exhaust them by blocking their task, a task attacks, and then, thus weakened, they were simply cut down. The villain was patient and skilled with the shield, and Rangadil felt his own mighty arms growing numb, while Dagod of Thras anticipated and blocked each cut. And Rangadil feared that without the blessing of the Divine Three of Morrowind, he'd die in the Tower of Abenadnit. But he still poured down blows as he yelled, Foe, I am Rangadil, a prince of the True Temple, and have fought in many a battle, and many a warrior has tried to stop my blade and has failed. Where if you can anticipate what which blow I am planning, and fewer knowing that know how to arrest the design, or have the strength to absorb all of my strikes, there is no greater master of shield blocking in all of Morrowind than here in the castle of Abernanid. My foe and dark love, Lord Dagoth of Thras, before you slay me, I beg you, tell me how you know how to block. Wickedly proud, Dagoth Thras heard Rangadil's plea and decided that before he got at the temple champion, he would deign to give him some knowledge for the afterlife. How his instinct and reflexes worked, and as he started to explain, he realized that he did not know how he did it, and watched puzzled as Rangadil delivered what the tales of Morrowind called the death blow of Abernanit. And then there's some explanations that I will not read to you. And with that, again, saying it again, I bid you farewell and until next week when it is Morrowind Monday again. Bye-bye.